as that is another passion of mine other than football. And we've had various people um, on the channel say, will you do some more wrestling videos? Now, I did get right out of wrestling. I fell out of love with it. And then about two or three weeks ago, I started watching, I had it all packed up, all recorded on the TV box. So I had like 15 episodes of AEW, 5 or 6 NXT. Thank you. 
Amazing. When he used to come up on the big screen and you'd have the um I think it's 
Segula, Nakamura. Okay. Ray Mysterio. Ray, Ray, Ray. Little Ray Mysterio. I remember back in the days when he was taking over the likes of the Undertaker, etc. Great wrestler, Ray Mysterio. One of the original high flyers in WWE. And now he has his son. Smackdown Tag Team Champions. Hang on, guys. And it's just a matter of time before Ray's son, Dominic, turns on Ray. You know it's going to happen. It's inevitable. A son v dad feud where Ray doesn't want to hurt his son but he's forced into the match because his son keeps attacking him it's gonna happen I say Wrestlemania next year we'll have Ray v Dominic I'd put a tenner on it I guarantee so you know, I like Ray Mysterio we have the Usos now in between injuries and are, in my opinion, in the top two tag teams in WWE. So you have the Usos, then you have the New Day. Unfortunately, they've split up at the minute. Well, Big E's left to do his own thing on SmackDown. Xavier and Kofi are still over on Raw doing their thing. But, yeah, Usos are great. They're teaming currently with their cousin Roman as part of the... Uh, faction they got going there and I like what they're doing for a while the one brother was injured for a long time I'm not sure if it's Jimmy or Jay so I thought of was like doing the role with Ro with Roman and then the other brother come back and I think the one who was there for a while got an injury or something or suspended due to a DUI whatever it was I enjoy what they're doing with Roman. I think it works well. Um, and they're going for the uh, the SmackDown titles at SummerSlam, I believe, against Ray and Dominic Mysterio. We have Big E. Yes, Big E is the current US champion, isn't he? I believe so. He's doing his uh, singles run, where eventually we'll get a Big E as WWE or Universal Champion. That's inevitable. It's going to happen. I am right this out. I do think, as I said the other day, that Xavier Woods deserves a title run as a singles champ. Kofi's at it. Big E's going to get it as a main champ. I don't see Xavier Woods getting the opportunity because I think he's the best of the three, in all honesty. And that's the truth. I think he's the best wrestler of the three of them. Sorry everyone, just adjusting the lighting slightly. There we go. We have Sami Zayn. Now, I was talking about Sami Zayn um, at the beginning of this video with Kevin Owens. There is no one, I can wind through all of Raw and all of Smackdown. Because I just sort of stop on little bits and check what's going on. I only have to see. Sami Zayn in the ring as a heel, not as a face, as a heel, and he can just be talking about a toothbrush, and I'll stop and I'll watch what he's doing. He's so good at what he does. I love his heel promos, his conspiracy theories, how everyone's against him. I'm glad when he come back from his long term layoff due to. Um, you know, I don't think he wants to wrestle because of Covid or something like that. Uh, he was the champ when he left and he came back and declared that he was still the champ. I thought that was uh, the right thing to do. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have a match at SummerSlam. Don't know why. I think that's crazy. They should just give him something to do. He's that good. Yeah, like I said, him knowing he'll always have a... Uh, a match at some point down the line. You don't even need a backstory because it's already there. Next, we have 
Cesaro. Cesaro. The Swiss superstar or the Swiss art. Uh, what the hell are they call him now? The Swiss something. Swiss cyborg. That's into. What an athlete. What an athlete. What a wrestler. What a good looking bloke. What a well dressed bloke. He's got it all. But he hasn't got the mic skills. He has not got the promos, despite being in WWE for so long. It's very far, few and far between. You'll hear a good promo from um, Cesaro. That's a shame because he has everything going for him. I really enjoyed his feud with Sheamus. They did a best of five, and then they became tag team partners. Sorry, my body had a leukemia. Yeah, um, this is going back a few years now, but he was off for quite a while with leukemia, wasn't he? Because a lot of people said it might be a um, like a work a storyline, but actually, he had leukemia. And then, obviously, because COVID got around, his immune system was already down. He said, I'm not coming in for a while, and he didn't. But when he had the leukemia, everyone expected him to come back as a heel. That time, but he came back after the COVID stuff. He was a heel, and now he's head of the table. He's got the new souls. He's been Daniel Bryan. He's been Edge. He's been everyone he's gone up against. And this Sunday, he's taking on Sean Cena. You know, Roman's retaining the title. Of course, he is. It'd be crazy to say he isn't going to. Although I heard the other day that Cena is going to stick around for the next year. I don't see that. His name in Hollywood is too big right now. From the Fast and the Furious films to the new Suicide Squad, he ain't going to be sticking around for more than he'll be here for SummerSlam. Um, we'll see him next at WrestleMania, I bet. So Roman will, will retain. And rightly so. He's the best thing in WWE right now. That's my honest opinion. So, let me give 
made my five from this ten that the ones I made my top five in no particular order I'm not gonna give you in one to five I'm gonna go with Kevin Owens I'm not gonna go with Dorsey a great wrestler but he don't make my top five Ray Mysterio he had better days but I do like what he's doing with his son at the minute but he's not making my top five Shinsuke Nakamura I still think they dropped the ball with him when he first came in he could have been so much more than what he is right now so it's a no from me the Usos I enjoy what they do now that we're Roman they had a phase where they were doing a great deal um, but if I had to present one or the other out of them and Roman because we're in the same faction I'm obviously going to go with Roman That leaves us with Roman, Cesaro, Seth, Sami Zayn and Big E. Okay. I'm putting Sami Zayn. He went Kevin Owens. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Take my money right now. Seth Rollins. Yes. Cesaro or Big E. Well, Big E's got the title at the minute. Cesaro. Um. But I'm gonna go with Big E over Cesaro. And then that just leaves the head of the table, Roman Reigns. If I had to do it one to five, Roman would be number one. He's the best thing in WWE. Has been for a few months now. And he's the only thing I can guarantee watching on SmackDown. Whereas I might want for everything else, I'll always stick around and watch a bit of Roman or Sami Zayn and Owens so guys let me know your top 5 smackdown in the comments I'll see you again very soon hope you enjoy these videos